Hi everyone, it's Julie from Live For Art here and today I'm doing an open pour. This was great fun and I was pretty pleased with the result, particularly because I had earlier, like many years ago, tried this technique and didn't have a lot of success with it. The pouring medium I'm using today is just Floetrol, so I've just mixed the paints with Floetrol. The black paint is a Artist Loft Flow acrylic and the metallics are all deco art. Mostly the deco art in the tub, there may be um, an extreme sheen which is a little bit more fluid. So that is an antique bronze going in now and a silver. This is the 24k gold. This one's a champagne and I think it's a lovely colour, worked really well in this one. That's a darker antique bronze. I just mixed some um, brown paint with the champagne actually and really sort of made that brown colour which I had for a different pour which is it turned out really nice. And the white is some sort of pearl colour that I had. So I have mixed my paints roughly one part paint to three parts Floetrol. It depended on the thickness of the paint. So I just continue to layer them, not necessarily in the same order, into the into the cup. Oops, well, next time I'll need to put the black in to a squeezy bottle really makes it much easier to manage this, this technique. And it's fantastic just to pick it up and see those cells come through. So when you are picking it up, you've got to make sure that it's still connected to the paint. Even though I've lifted, it looks like I've lifted it up quite high, there's still a surface tension of that paint and it's still connected what's in the, in the tub or in the circle with the canvas. I was a challenge to know how to finish it. This time I've just twirled it around and I think that worked quite well in this one because the gold that was on the outside has sort of formed a little bit of a pattern. Next time if I was a bit more careful about how I put that black centre in it would even be more even. So now I'm putting some, some of the black paint around, around it and that's really to provide a nice surface for the pattern paint to run over smooth, excuse me, smoothly. So it doesn't need to be, it doesn't need to be on thickly, just needs to be some sort of surface for it to move. And you'll see I'm just spreading it out there with a little, little tool. So in this one I've tended to sort of go to the corners so it's not as round anymore in, in a pure sense. When I've got a round canvas and when it wasn't down one end like that one was, I have just gone around and tried to keep the round shape. So this one that looks really earthy, I, don't, I think that the different shape still works quite well. And you'll see that I do even up a little bit of it later. I feel like it needs some sort of connection that's sitting there. I started to think about will I swipe and that was really was it wasn't working well and so I just decided to just tidy up those edges anyway and then I've decided to come back and to blow it out so rather than it just sitting there in the black background by blowing it out and getting those wispy edges it does look a bit more connected I think as a whole and that outside color which I think is an antique bronze just, it's just blowing out beautifully. It just it looks a great effect. I've grabbed some other colours at some sometimes as I've come in a bit further in places. Particularly that thing, that corner one, I needed a bit more paint. There wasn't much of that outer edge left.
Um, I hope you have a go at this technique. It really is a lot of fun and it's such, so exciting to see those cells pop up through the base colour. So I'll show you the dried results in a minute. It doesn't look as shiny as what it what actually is in real life. It's really quite shimmery and that will be even further enhanced when I put a coat of varnish or possibly resin on it. So give it a go, have fun, let me know how you go. It looks, you can get some really great effects. If the paint is a little bit thicker, then it does stay in more distinct cells, whereas this is spread out into different patterns because it's thinner paint. Mm -hmm.